Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed to C drive, then open C drive program file 686. Open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam Apps folder. Now open the Common folder and then open the Game folder. Open the Game folder. Now select the Game EXE file and then click on Open. Now type in Control Panel in Windows Search box. Go to Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings at the top. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse and then go to the Game Installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Now select the game exe file once again, then click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to Run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, you can right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, make a double click, launch the game from here. So just make a double click over here and launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can just select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename the save game files now before you rename the save game files you can create a backup first because when you rename the save game files all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so open file explorer your computer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the room, roaming folder over here you can see dark souls 3 folder copy this folder and then you can paste it to the desktop create a backup once you have a backup over here so i've created a backup now once you have created a backup you can rename this folder and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked your computer you can set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner, revert unit, or any kind of overclocking application, you can set it to default, remove the default uh, overclocking, and then you can close the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, disable Steam overlay. Now, for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then check. Now, if you have any other overlay application like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. Now, if you're using NVIDIA app, in that case, you can go to settings and then you can turn off NVIDIA overlay. If this is on, turn it off. If you have any other overlay application, you can turn off the overlay and close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. 
So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next. And then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users, uh, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer and then go to AMD website, install the latest graphic card driver, select your graphic card and then install the latest one and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list click on the game and over here you can see gpu preference set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card so select high performance and then you can launch the game next step is to uh, install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio files so you have to install this x86 and x64 version install both so download this x86 and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow now download this x x64 version now you can run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and install it. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM 
now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices uh, from your computer. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.